are really excited about doing your presentation this afternoon and having Dom yes. video it and then being critiqued. <laughs> All right, we have a few honest people in the room. <laughs> what else are the rest of you feeling? And I'm just going to write down a few of these words and just really just put it out there. Be honest because we all have it before, you know, un until we get really comfortable. And even when we are, like even this morning, I had a little churning going on as I was coming. Am I going to, you know, be okay? Is Kathy going to be sorry that she invited me? <laughs> right, so okay, anxiety. What else? Just, just pop them out. Anything stronger than anxiety, huh? I said that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. Would is dread too strong a word or? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, dread. Nervous. Nervousness. Okay. What else? Worried. Worried. Doubt. Doubt. Okay, those are a few good ones. When you hold those words in your consciousness, anxiety, dread, nervousness, worry, doubt, are there any particular thoughts related to these words that come to mind? Like, what are you anxious about? What do you doubt? What are you worried or nervous about? Very specific things. Seeing yourself on camera because what's so, so the reason you don't like to feel your see yourself on camera is that you have a fear of something that your voice you just said your voice okay the way I look my voice what else are you specifically afraid of making mistakes and what happens when we make mistakes we're embarrassed we look stupid right we're afraid to look stupid or incompetent or so looking stupid ah perfect what'd you say <laughs> Okay, losing your thoughts, absolutely. Okay, so there are many, many, many things here. Starting way back from when you even have to sit down to prepare your presentation. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to write. I don't know how there's too much information here. How do I put it all together? How do I organize my thoughts? What if I'm too wordy? What if I don't share enough information? What's the most important stuff, right? So it starts right way back from the preparation stage, not just now I'm getting on stage or now I'm getting in front of my peers or now maybe I'm even having this one-to-one -one, you know, uh, conversation with someone, whether it's a sales conversation or whatever it might be, it starts way before that actual moment, right? I know it does for me. It's, it's a process of preparing and having thoughts come in and out of my mind and which are the most important and it changes and flows over time until the morning and then usually that I'm on my way there and then it's really formulating in my mind. So there may be very specific thoughts. I don't know what to write. I'm not smart enough. I don't know this material. It could be I'm afraid of looking stupid. I'm afraid my mouth is going to get so dry that I can't speak. I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of breath. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to run to the bathroom because my bowels get all discombobulated, right? So those are very specific thoughts we might have. I'm afraid I'm going to have toilet paper stuck to the back of my, you know, whatever it might be. You know, that, that's kind of a funny one, but those are very real things. Um, and then when we have those things, we have very specific physical sensations in our bodies connected to those thoughts. So when you think about getting up on stage and you think about the particular thing that's most scary for you, that I don't want to see myself because I don't like the way I look or I don't like my voice or that I might make a mistake and be embarrassed. What emotions are you aware of? 
or well, I'm sorry, what physical sensations? Where do you notice that in your body? Dizzy. So in your head, you might feel dizzy and lightheaded, yep. What else? Good, heart pounding. Exactly. Sweaty palms. Dry mouth. Churning stomach, the one I mentioned, the oh man, I might have to run to the bathroom routine. So stomach and bowels. Tight jaw. Just kind of tight jaw. Yep, clenching, tight jaw. Mu just muscle tension wherever that might be. So like a nervous yeah. tick, almost a twitch. Yep. Anybody get that? <gasps> Anybody just get that <sighs> sort of crushing, vice-like, can't breathe yeah. pressure in the chest? I think that's one of the most common. Okay, so chest pressure, good. So the reason I'm outlining all of these is because when we do EFT, we're really gonna look to relieve three things. We're gonna look to relieve your physical distress, all of these things that we just mentioned, your negative or unsupportive thoughts. I'm gonna mess up, I'm gonna forget what I'm doing, they're gonna think I'm stupid, I'm gonna look like an idiot, I'm not gonna get the sale, they're gonna, people are gonna walk out of the room because they're bored, they're gonna fall asleep, they're gonna, whatever it is, that, or whatever negative stinking thinking might be going on in your mind, EFT will help with that. And also, um, with whatever the emotions are. So we go from dread and anxiety and worry and fear and doubt and what those other words are to feeling confident and competent and capable and expansive and excited. Doesn't that feel better? Cool.